Uh, this patient presented with this tooth, uh, 18, lower left second molar, yep. with, uh, with changes in the bone, but the main thing is he had a buccal fistula. Okay, so he's got a buccal tract draining out, but, and you can see there's some change here. Then I wanted to run the cone beam on it, and this is what we saw in the cone beam. Let's see. This is the tooth here. And wow. this is the one that's gone. Uh, there's the buckle out drag us through, and you can see the wow. infection way through to the lingual. So it's all the way through, back and forth, both yep. sides. And this is how it looks on this side over here. And the the 2D picture didn't show this at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's amazing. This is major. So we, you know, obviously when I when I treated this case, I had to uh, build up both sides and put guided tissue reservable membrane and try and preserve that entire ridge uh, buckle to lingual and height wise. So. Wow. And he's, he's just healing right now. So he's hopefully doing fine. Yeah. And let's see. I'll, and, I'll show and, you that, and, that's a, and that's a symptom. And did, was this one of the examples where the patient was asymptomatic? He was asymptomatic except for a drainage. Okay. And, and, and so, he, you know, that he did have some symptoms. It, it drained. But other than that, we never would have, you know, noticed yeah. anything.